Don't let nothing remain. Give him everything so your heart will be free to worship tonight. Amen? So tonight we're all praying. We're all giving it to him tonight. Everybody's praying at this moment. We praise God, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We praise God. I, I want to thank God for each and every one of you. So beautiful in here tonight. And I am grateful for what the Lord has already done. And what the Lord is about to do. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I need thee. Oh. I need thee. Every hour. Every hour. I need thee. Consecration, everybody. I need thee. I need thee. Hallelujah. The oh. Come on, that's when your hands are to be lifted and your spirits are to be lifted in the sanctuary. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless me. Oh, bless me now. Oh. Savior, I come, I come to Thee. Oh, hallelujah. Can we do that one more time? I need, hallelujah, the oh. Every hour, hey, thank you. 
Come on, I want you praising him high need thee. We are go bless. Oh, bless me now, my God, my Savior. Hallelujah. Woo. Listen. Listen, congregation, in every session we want to make it a session where individuals can be filled, individuals can be touched by the hand of God. There is no, no, no strict protocol or order. We just want you to be free in your worship and allow God to move as he so chooses. People have come. Um, we have labored all year. Some of us have dealt with some personal issues and some public ones too. But the Lord has brought us together to heal and to rebuild and to, to restore each and every one of us. That when we leave even this moment, our lives will never be the same again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we take worship seriously here. And we want you to know that where you stand, God is right there with you. I don't know. I don't want you to get too distracted by what's happening, but Lord God, make sure God gets his glory. Make sure God gets his praise. Make sure God gets the honor. And wherever we have come from, whatever we have brought, whatever we have seen, whatever we have faced, we are in the presence of a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, listen, we are not, we are not holy. We are not holy enough. But as I'm standing here tonight and as I was beginning to speak, I hear the Lord saying this white represents who I am. He is a holy God. And we have come up into the presence of a holy God. This white is to help us reflect on who he is. And although we have stains and blemish, just look at what the Lord has done. Sabbaku, worship the king. I need you. Oh. Come on, tell him how much we need him. I need you. Go by, hallelujah. Yeah. Every, every heart, every heart lifted. Yeah. I need thee. I, I want somebody that's desperate for a blessing. Say, oh, bless it, God. Bless me now in this moment, my Savior. Come on, somebody. Come on. I want you to reach with me here. I come. This is consecration. This is dedication. This is preparation. Come on, lift that hand and say, I need the I need. Oh, hallelujah. The oh, 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 oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless me, oh, bless me, oh, bless me now. Oh, bless me now. Oh, hey. Tell him I come, I come. Anaba. Do you hear the old folks saying, fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. Come and quench. This thirsty. Somebody is thirsty. Bread of heaven. Bread of Feed me, Lord. Fill my cup. Fill my cup. Fill it up. <laughs> and make me all. The 
go like that woman. Come on, church. At the well. his worthy name bless his worthy name bless his worthy name all oh, that men will praise him all oh, that men will praise him all oh, that men will praise him let everything that have breath praise him let everything that have breath praise him glory hallelujah Glory, hallelujah. Come on, lift those hands all over this church. And bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Come on with me, everybody. Blessed Holy Ghost. Come on, man. Blessed Holy Ghost. Blessed Holy Ghost. We welcome you. Come this hour. Fill your temple. 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 Welcome. Welcome to heal. Welcome to deliver. Welcome to set free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Welcome. Welcome. Bless him. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome! Woo. God bless you. God bless you. We honor the Lord for this night, our third night. It's praise and worship time. Oh, glory be to God. Are you excited to be in God's house? Go ahead and greet three people. Tell them I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Come on, tell them I'm glad to be here. Hallelujah. 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 I said praise him, everybody. Oh, bless his wonderful name. Help me welcome tonight our psalmist. Minister Ingrid Woodstock, uh, as she leads us into praise and worship, uh, put your hands together and receive her in the care. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Come on, go ahead and clap your hands and thank him tonight. He's a good God. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. Come on, wave your hands in his presence and magnify the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, God. We honor you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. Hallelujah. I know you already worship it. Come on, give him five more seconds. Let the high praises of God be heard. Hallelujah. Oh, we honor you, Lord God. It is a good thing uh, to give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless him tonight uh, because he has a final say. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, stand to your feet all over this place uh, and wave your hands one more time. Hallelujah. And bless him. Hallelujah. Tell me who has the final say. Tell me who has the final say. Oh, tell me who has the final say. Oh, no matter what the people say.
Lord you're mighty. 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 Come on, sing it like you believe you. Say, Lord you're mighty. Lord you're mighty. Lord you're mighty. Lord you're mighty. Oh, come on, let the redeemer of the Lord declare it. Lord you're mighty.
give him all glory. Give him all glory. Oh, I can't hear you, church. Come on, all glory. We glorify you, God. We magnify you, God. Oh, God, an incredible God deserves an incredible praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. Somebody worship him in his place. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody bow down and worship him. Exalt the Lord our God, for he is worthy. He's mighty in battle. He's excellent in all the earth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, is he worthy? Is he worthy? Is he worthy? Oh, don't let me stop you tonight. Uh, lift up your hands and worship him. Uh, if the Lord is worthy, hallelujah. He is God uh, and God alone, hallelujah. Beside him, uh, there is no other, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. And we come in this house to worship him tonight, hallelujah. We come to bow down and to give him praise, hallelujah. We give him thanks, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Just wave your hands and tell him glory. Come on, wave your hands and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here. Moving in this place. I worship you. We're the worshipers. I worship you. You are here. You are here, touching, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Oh, you are way maker, miracle work. Come on, say it. Light in the darkness.
Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Who he has redeemed of the hands of the enemy. Let the redeemed worship him. If he made a way, worship him. If you're holding on to a promise, worship him. Glory, glory.
church, give him what you came with. Lift those hands and give our God the worship. Give him the worship that's due unto his Lord. Oh God, if you can pray tonight, just wave them up. In the presence of the Lord. He's an incredible awesome God. before your presence. Tonight, God, we give you praise. We give you glory. Tonight, God, we lift up your name in your house, Lord, because it deserves to be praised. We thank you, God, for the God that you are tonight. 
Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your tender mercies. Thank you, God, for joining mercies. Thank you, God, for your greatness, my God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. God, you are God alone tonight. And there is no one else like you, God. Someone said, if we, cry, if we go to the highest mountains, if we go to the lowest valley, hallelujah. No matter how we search all over, God, there is none like you tonight. And so we glorify your name. We thank you for this hour, my God, as your people come up to worship you. We thank you, God, for your humble presence tonight. Mighty God, we thank you for all your children who gather in your time, your presence tonight, Lord God. We pray again as we come, Lord, and as we worship you tonight, God, that our worship will be acceptable in your sight. Mighty God, I pray tonight that all that should be said and done in your house will be done in the glory and the honor of your name. I pray, God, for every song tonight. Mighty God, I pray tonight for the scripture God is going about to read. Mighty God, remember your people, I pray thee. Oh, God, remember who come tonight, God, for our heaven special reason. My God, some come to save. Some come to be delivered. My God, some come to be strengthened. Some come to be healed. Whatever it is, God, we place everything at your mercy seat tonight. Father, I pray, God, you'll have your own sweet way. My God, the mother preacher tonight, the mother right as she stand, God. Father, I pray, God, you will touch her in a mighty way right now. Pray living God, Father, fresh upon her right now. Lord, I pray, God, that there is any tonight, God, that has not accepted you as your personal Lord and Savior. Mighty God, tonight is the night. God, I pray, God, that you stretch forth your, your hands tonight, my God, and touch the special one. God, if there's a backslide in your house tonight, God, I pray, God, you turn it around, my God. Father God, you let them to realize, God, that you're married to them tonight. And oh, God, you will never give up on them. Father God, I pray for strength tonight, my God. Let the weak say they are strong tonight. Mighty God, let the weak say they are strong tonight. Because we're depending upon you, Lord Jesus. Father God, we cannot do nothing of ourselves. But in your name we come tonight. Let your words, oh God, root, find root in, 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 your, in your house tonight. Let someone cry out they are healed tonight, Jesus. Mighty God, let someone feel your anointing. Listen. Tonight. Oh God, we feel tonight, my God. Lord, let your people reach out and touch you tonight, my God. Father, we are depending upon you right now. We cannot do nothing of us ourselves, Lord. But in your hands we put our faith tonight. Because our faith will come to thee, O Lamb of Calvary. We pray, God, that you will have your way. Mighty God, lead us, Lord. And wherever you lead, we will follow as we give you thanks. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Our scripture lesson tonight comes from Hebrew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. I'm going to ask you to stand for the reading of the word, and I'll read in your hearing. Praise God. When you find it, please say amen. going to ask you if you can stand to stand for the reading of the word of God. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day for all his work. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached, 
entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying, in David today, after so long a time as it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest, then he, then, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest it to the people of God. For he that is entered in his rest, he also had ceased from his own works, as God did from his eleventh and last. Let us labor therefore to enter in that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. The word of the Lord is already blessed. We honor it by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, it's now and forever shall be, world without end. Praise God, praise God. Bless the name of Jesus at this time. Deaconess Brown will come and greet in the name of Jesus. And after Deaconess Brown greet, the next voice you will hear is that of our very own bishop, Dr. Reverend Stephen Strawn. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. 30, 31 years. Hallelujah. Greetings to each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Let me extend a warm welcome to our church today as we celebrate this momentous occasion, our 31st anniversary. We have eagerly looked forward to this day and we want to thank the Lord for enable us to witness it. His mercy and his goodness have been abundantly given to us as a church, and we desire to glorify his name forever. Praise God. Greetings to Bishop Strawn, Bishop Reed, Bishop Johnson. Praise God. Pastor Nadine Hoens. Praise God. All the ministers on the platform, saints in Christ visiting friends, our sister churches, churches from near and far, those online via Facebook and YouTube. We welcome you all for worshiping with us tonight in this glorious celebration. Your presence here despite busy schedule speaks volume about your commitment to honoring the one who love us beyond our understanding. As we honor this milestone, let us strengthen our bonds of fellowship we are not merely a congregation, we are a family. A family united by love for Christ. Let this anniversary be a reminder that we are called to support, encourage, and uplift one another. Brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in the Lord's faithfulness. May his name be glorified as we celebrate our 31st church anniversary. Feel welcome and may God's presence Abide with us throughout this joyous occasion. May this anniversary celebration be filled with joy, unity, and blessings as we diligently pursue its rest. Welcome from Rosedale Pentecostal City Mission Church. Now, put your hands together because you're welcome here tonight. Come on. The Lord bless you. Thank you, Deaconess Brown. God bless you. Sister Cecile, God bless you. I want you to understand that when you see people, you don't know what they're walking with. And, um, and I told you earlier that we are in the presence of a great big God. The problem with these types of services, sometimes we get so caught up in the wrong thing and we forget the guest of honor who is the Lord Jesus Christ. And if he is not here, this makes no sense. And he only wants to be where he is honored and where his praises lie. So I don't know if you're as tired as I am, but tired or no tired, I come to worship God. I said I come to praise God tonight. I said I come to praise God tonight. And, and while you're here interceding, because I got her permission to do so, um, I want you to know that Sister Cecile, just re she received recently a very uh, scary diagnose, 
but we know that God can heal and deliver. Because somebody in the room might have already been delivered from that thing and already been healed from that thing. And we want God to know, we praise you, you can do it again. So after you're finished being comfortable, I really want some worshipers here with me that can intercede in the power of the Holy Ghost and say, Lord, right now you can kill it, you can remove it, we curse it by the root, and we declare her divine healing in the name of Jesus. You might be sitting next to somebody else that has that thing, that thing, that thing, but in the name of Jesus, We cripple it, we bind it, we rebuke it, we put blood on it in the name of Jesus. We hear what the doctor said, but we know what you said. We know some people have died from it, but I shall live. I just need 10 more intercessors here to say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, oh. I said if you worship, healing will take place. If you worship, deliverance will take place. Because the great I am is in the room. The great I am is in the room. And the Lord saw you leading devotion. And right now we declare healing in your body. From the crown of your head to the... You notice I didn't call its name, right? Because I canceled the name. I didn't call the thing. I call it a thing. Because the blood is against it. 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 And I dare you to touch somebody on your row and say we bind it in Jesus' name. We have come to do war and we declare war on that thing. We declare war on that thing. We declare war on that thing. And whatsoever you ask in my name, it shall be. Bishop, God can heal that thing. God can deliver from that thing. If I don't call a church to greet, please don't think we're disrespectful. Think about Don't think we're rude. We're glad you're here. God bless you. We love you. And I know you're here because you love us and we appreciate it. But God has to move in this room. God has to move in this room. Somebody online is facing the thing right now. And we send the blood where you are. Somebody on the choir have the thing right now. And we send the blood where you are. Somebody have my photo. I need somebody that's been healed from that thing to walk in this place. And start saying, God, you're able. That's right, mother. That's right, deaconism. Somebody's walking because God can heal it. God can heal it. God can heal it. No weapon fought against us. I want another survivor. I want another survivor to walk through this place. I declare that that's right, honey. You're healed already. 
here. Somebody better pray to you. That's another one heal. That's another one deliver. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, somebody praise him here. Oh, I got a praying church. I got a praying church. I got a praying church. We have a praying church.
Give the Lord glory in this room. Give the Lord praise, everybody. Give the Lord praise, everybody. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come tonight to celebrate 31 years of hard labor. Oh, hallelujah. 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 31 years. It has not been easy, but some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood, God lead his dear children along. And that is why we are here tonight to give him thanks. Psalmist David said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah! Who he has redeemed. From the hands of the enemy. Oh, hallelujah. If you have been redeemed from the hands of the enemy, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and worship him. Worship. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and worship. 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 Come on, thank God for our bishop tonight. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask Evangelist Brown to come quickly and greet us. God bless you. The Lord bless you from Triumphant Church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we are here. And I just want the church to know there is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know it is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise him. I want to recognize tonight, please stand, a worker 
Morgan from Maryland. Welcome. God bless you. Took the six, six hour drive, five hours to be with us tonight. Welcome all the way from Maryland. God bless you. We honor the Lord tonight for the first night here. Um, Reverend Scarlett, Toronto, Canada, pastor. Deacon Walker, the Lord bless you. God bless you. Praise God. We want to honor the Lord tonight for Calvary Gospel Assembly. Pastor Phillip's congregation is here. God bless you, sir. We honor. Come on, praise the Lord for them. Um, there is a cliche that says you're going to live long. I literally asked about Sunbeam today. And when I saw Deacon Henry walk through the doors, I thought I was shocked. Please bless the Simon City Mission, Deacon Henry. You Cal Henry, the Lord bless you. Is there another visiting church with us here tonight? Praise him, praise him, praise him. God bless you then. It's offering time. Hallelujah. And everybody has an opportunity to participate in this portion of the service. And we come to do so. We're going to ask that you please extend to us um, a blessing here tonight. As this is our Women and Missionary Night. And we are grateful because missionaries have really labored down through the years. And that's why we're here. And then we honor the Lord for those women who have labored in prayer and with their hands to build up God's house. And, and we want to continue to encourage them. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I someone earlier, for those of you that came a little bit late or a lot of late, I, I told everyone when I walked in to tonight and I saw the white, the Lord just told me this is what it was so that we can see how holy he is nothing to do with us but this is a, re a reflection of his holiness his purity and we have come to worship him just because of who he is oh praise the lord everybody bless the lord everybody the ushers are getting the baskets together and they're going to move through the congregation and we want you to please note that those of you who are online that we do have a safe platform that you can give it's vanco uh, V-A-N-C-O, V-A-N-C-O, and uh, we're going to ask that you, if you do not have what you want with you and you want to give, you can go to Vanco, it's International Pentecostal City Mission, Rosedale. Um, you might hit Vanco and see some other branches. Um, Rosedale, New York, amen. Um, and give there, it is safe, and your funds will get to its designated place. Amen. Uh, we are grateful tomorrow, just by way of announcement, tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Uh, will be our divine worship service here. And then we close this great anniversary at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. So if you do not have anything on your calendar or on your agenda, come and join us as we continue to glow, grow from glory to glory. I want to formally introduce tonight our speaker before we move on. It is my friend and I haven't seen her for some time. I'm trying to be a better friend, I promise. We thank God for prophetess Nadine Owens. Praise God. Um, she has blessed, she has blessed this house time and time again and we hope and we anticipate a word from the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. All right, ushers, we're going to move quickly and expeditiously through. And if you're writing a check, it's IPCM. Um, I hope that we can raise $5,000 tonight quickly. So as, as you are moving, you are sowing into the right place. And and help us. That means every role can give a thousand dollars, right? And we exceed that. That's right. That's right. Don't be don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. Just launch out in the deep. The Lord bless you as you are give to the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless.
bless you. So they, they, they're going to they're gonna beat me for this song here, but as we give, I just want to sing. I don't want to get adjusted to this world. I, I, I told when I came into 2024, and, and, and the Lord placed that in my heart, um, been trying to teach it to a younger generation and, and, so, and remind some of us who are older that this, this is one of those songs that remind us we're anticipating something and we're not trying to get too connected, too adjusted, too, too assimilated because we got a home that's so much better and we're going to go there sooner or later. I don't want to get adjusted to this world. Musicians, you can find that for me, please. And, and as you give, just give gloriously uh, to the Lord tonight. God bless you. To get adjusted to this world, to this world. I've got a home that's so much better. I'm going to go there sooner or later. I don't want to get adjusted to this. Do you remember that? Oh, I don't.
Lord. Praise everybody. Praise the Lord. God bless you as you listen to the ministry.
and say, neighbor, right now. No, tell her like you know it, like you know it, like you know it. Say, neighbor, right now. Right now. Now tell them what's happening. Tell them what's happening. I said, don't tell me. Tell somebody else what's happening right now. The Lord. everyone greet tonight we would not be able to move out of here so we're going to use wisdom man. and I know no one heart will be broken Amen. because it's time for the word Amen. Amen. Amen you can read our dear preacher's profile but I think her greatest accolade is that she is saved Amen. and filled with the Holy Ghost and As I told you, she's been a blessing to me and been a blessing to this church. And we're glad that our paths have crossed again. Please stand and receive Prophetess Nadine Owens. Bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. I said, come on and bless the Lord in this place. Let me try that one more time. Come on and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. In this place. Hallelujah. Look down your row and tell your neighbor, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. And so the Bible says, let everything that hath bread praise he the Lord, name of the Lord. And so let's try this again. Come on, Levites on the instrument. Come on, strike a sound. And what I want you to do, I want you to begin to open up your mouth all over this building. And I want you to lift your voice to the King of Kings just a little bit more. And the Lord of Lords. I want you to ignite this house. Hallelujah. I want you to open up your mouth and put worship in the atmosphere. I said, open up your mind and put worship in the atmosphere. And let the Lord know that you have come to give him praise, glory, and honor. You have come to lift him up. Hallelujah. I wish I had a little bit more sun. Come on in here. I wish, I wish. Open up your mouth. The Bible says, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Do I have any redeemed folks in the house? Open up your mouth and give him praise. Now, Father, we have come in your name. And we have gathered in this place for no other reason but to bless you. And God, while we are gathered here in your presence, we pray now, God, that you will speak a word. A now word for a now situation for a now people. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I search the room, God, and I pray even now. I come against the spirit of destruction. And I pray, God, that we will be on one accord, that there will be a shaking, a moving, a breaking, healing, signs, miracles, and wonder. And so while we have come with the spirit of expectation, expecting you to move, expecting you to speak, uh, speak a rhema in this house today, and we will be sure to give you the praise. We will be sure to give you the honor. We will be sure to give you the glory. And the people of God shout amen. 
praise or you don't. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you have a praise? Do you? Ask somebody else, do you have a praise? Oh my shut up. Come on, ask somebody else, do you have a praise? Oh God. You see, when you have a praise and a testimony for real, you don't need the keys, you don't need the drum. You don't need somebody to coach you. But David said, I will enter into his. Let me, let me not get ahead of myself. Hallelujah. This is my second time preaching today. I ministered this morning, so y'all pray my strength. Not only did I minister twice today, but it's my birthday. Amen. <laughs> And somebody said, well, prophetess, why are you preaching on your birthday? I said, for this cause came I into the world. And so why not preach on your born day? Amen, somebody? So I said all that to say, pray my strength in the Lord. My friend and my brother, amen. Put your hands together for Bishop Strong. I, listen, love you, man of God. Haven't seen him since the pandemic. But I'm glad that God has brought me back to this house. To all the leaders, all the bishops, amen. To the ministers, I don't know your name, all your names, but God bless you, amen. Put your hands together for yourself. Amen. To my empowerment church, forgive our attire. We didn't realize it was white night. <laughs> uh, that's all right, amen. Amen, and so put your hands together for my leaders that are here with me on tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah to my husband. He wanted to be here, but he just landed coming in from Texas, and so he sends his love. Amen. Amen. I want you to come with me to your, your theme text on tonight. We're going to go to the book of Hebrews. Hebrew chapter number four. Hebrews chapter number four. We're going to do a little reading. Is that all right? Hallelujah. We're going to read from verse number one to verse uh, number 13, 14. Can I get somebody to help me read tonight? Hallelujah. Is that all right? Amen. Just say God strengthen God the prophetess. The prophetess. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Y'all might sound good all by yourself. Let's try this. Hallelujah. Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest. Read. Mm -hmm. shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest on the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, to me therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and take the Enter into his rest. He also had ceased from his own work as God did from his. 
Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the the that is passed into the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. On your way down, the word of the Lord is already blessed. On your way down, I want you to look down your row and tell somebody, tired, Tired. but still in pursuit. pursuit. Find two more people and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm tired. tired. Yeah, but I'm still in pursuit. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm tired, but I'm still in pursuit. Hallelujah. Touch yourself and say, tired, Tired. but, but, but I'm still, yeah, I'm still in pursuit. Hallelujah. I was good where I was. Bring it back. Tired, but still in pursuit. My brothers and my sisters, I want to submit to you today, tonight rather, that we are steadily engaging the pursuit to find God, the presence of God. When we look at the word pursuit, pursuit is the act of following after something or someone in so much that your eyes never leave the object in which you intend to follow. I said when you're really in pursuit, your gaze and your eyes does not leave the very thing that you're in pursuit of. But in this dispensation, our pursuit seems to be after everything but God. We chase after worldly things that has no spiritual consolation of peace or rest. And do I have a church in here? We go after everything fleshly and nothing after the spirit. I'm going to talk and then we're going to get to the preach, but walk with me. And so when we consider rest, somebody holler rest. It is important to note that there are two types of rest. Say two types of rest. We have the natural rem and we have the spiritual rem. In the natural rem, our rest is obtained through sleep. Hello. And the sleep now is a complex biological process that helps us process self, cell health. And it was recovery. This period of sleep and awakeness is part of how the body re-energize and function. And so when you lay your head down every night, you go through different stages, hallelujah, and different phases through the night as your body replenishes itself. Each phase is important to complete the task, but there is a problem with this particular rest because while it addresses the physical man it does not engage the problems that's associated with man I'm going to preach whether you say amen or hallelujah and so you can lay down to sleep with trouble with this rest and still get up with trouble Wow! because it only addressed the physical and not the spiritual oh can I walk in here but there is another rest that surpasses the mind and the body. This rest moves now from the soulish realm. It moves to the soulish realm and it's called spiritual rest. Does anybody have a witness of what I'm talking about? Come on in here. Spiritual rest. Uh, In the Greek, it's called kapoposi. It denotes the causing to cease. In other words, despite what your atmospheric situation is, you still have peace. 
Oh God, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Despite what's happening in your home, what's happening in your body, what's happening on the job, this it shows up to give you on the cease, cease causing us arrest the cease rather. Somebody say cease. And so the reality of this. Somebody said we are coexisting with natural and spiritual at the same time. And so there's a spiritual realm that one must enter supernaturally to operate in the parameters of God. This realm already exists, the body of Christ to the saints. God already gave you the key. He gave you access. But the problem is we don't utilize it. Come on, let me talk over here. God gave you keys of authority, keys of power, keys of peace. But we don't access it. Come on, somebody. And so some of us are sitting on our authority, sitting on our keys, sitting on it because uh, we don't access it. So what we do now, we go to the Father and we're crying. And God is saying, why are you coming to me? I've been giving you divine authority. Come on. Uh, through the joint E of Christ, through the spirit of adoption, you have the power to do and to believe and to pray and to seek my oh God I, I feel a preach but I'm not ready yet tell your neighbor you got power yeah so now in the text the writer the writer exhibits four types of rest in his argument number one he gives the rest the God creation rest in chapter 4 verse 4 he said after he God had created he rested and reflected the second rest we see in our text is the Canaan rest. Uh, chapter 3, verse 7, it says the rest he promised to the people, that's you. Uh, the third rest we see is salvation rest. This is the rest that covenant brings at the conversion. Oh God, the fourth rest we see is the heavenly rest. And this is what we call eternal rest. Uh, but the church, all we emphasize is on the heavenly rest. Well, when we get to heaven. Uh, but I submit to you, my brothers and my sister, uh, that there is a rest in this terra firma, in this earth. Uh, while you're singing about heaven and resting in heaven, uh, God's got a rest here. Come on in here. Uh, in the midst of your chaos, in the midst of your test, in the midst of your trial. There it is. Oh God, I'm coming. There is rest. And so the concept of entering God's rest in Hebrews chapter 3 and chapter 4. I'm sorry. I'm a meat preacher. I'm going to give you the word before we shout. Is that all right? And so there are three factors that one must consider. Factor number one. What is this rest? Factor number two. How do I enter into it? And factor number three. Why do we miss it? Uh, oh God help me in here and so the book the book opens the book opens in Hebrew uh, and it's full of Christians that are tired uh, have you ever been tired come on in here coming to church and tired singing on the choir and tired come on preaching and tired uh, prophesying and tired uh, have you ever been in the church and yet you're tired uh, and you're doing everything out of the form uh, of religion but you're tired uh, and you can't even tell nobody I'm fed up. I'm fed up with church. I'm fed up with my calling. I'm fed up with myself. Let me talk over here. You're tired in the church. Tired coming to church. And tired leaving the church. I submit to you today. Come on in here. That when your physical body begins to war against the spirit, that is a sign. I feel my preach, but I ain't ready yet. I said that is a sign to let you know that there is something else 
on the horizon huh? because the devil don't mess with nobody that ain't nothing huh? as long as you got a little oil on your life huh? oh glory be to God look for trouble huh? if you have oil on your life look for warfare huh? look for it look for it huh? I tell the power of my shire, I said when you got oil on your life huh? the devil will seek you out huh? come up in your home huh? come up in your church huh? come up in your life huh? it's not you but it's y'all that's your soul here it is you Tell your neighbor, I got some oil. I got some oil on my life. And that's why I'm enduring stuff that other people ain't even enduring. I watch everybody else play church. Everybody else come to church and half-stepping. Come on. And I'm over here living holy. I'm over here fasting and praying. And I'm looking at them being blessed. And I'm saying, God, wait a minute. I know how they're living. I know what they're doing. How in the world are you blessing them? If God be for me, why? I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Look down your row and say, if God be for me. Hey. Oh God, I'm coming. And so now in the book of Hebrews, uh, they're tired. Somebody holler, tired. Uh, and the author now tells them, he said, don't you dare quit. He said, don't you dare give up. He said, don't you dare throw in the towel. I don't you dare walk away. But he said, you can make it. Come on in here. The whole book is filled with Christian, Christian people that are tired of being sick and tired. Have you ever been tired of being sick and tired of being tired? Oh God, you are lying to yourself. Let me come down here and look you face to face. Have you ever been tired? Tired of serving? Tired of doing all you do with no reward? Have you ever been tired? But I hear God saying, the reward that's coming ain't going to come from the hands of men. Keep on working. Keep on pressing. Keep on giving. Keep on serving. Keep on. Look down your row and holler. Keep on. I'm going to preach in a minute. Just a little bit more. I'm going to preach in a minute. And call your neighbor and say, keep on. Touch your neighbor next to you and say, keep on. I t- tell them, keep on. Because you don't know the hell that they're going through. Keep on. You see me dressed up tonight in my white, but you don't know what I face. Matter of fact, you don't even know what I left back in the house. Keep on. You don't know what I got to wake up to. Keep on. You don't know what I got to go to bed about. Keep on. I stop by to let you know. If I can just have a little bit more sound. I stop by to let you know. Keep on. Touch your neighbor one more time and say, neighbor, keep on. Sit down for a minute. And so the Christian in the text they're going through, don't you believe that because you're in the church that you would not go through warfare problems and situation? Matter of fact, it's a prerequisite. Ooh. I'm going to preach myself happy. I said it is a prerequisite. I said it is a prerequisite. Whenever you're called by God, it says, Behold, there is this treasure in earth and vessel. The treasure ain't even for you. Oh, glory be to God. And so here is the revelation. Sometimes you gotta go through problems, not even for yourself, but for somebody else. I wish I had a church up in here. I'm preaching too soon. Tell your neighbor, wait. Watch this. He says now, to the church, don't quit. He says to the church, don't give up. He says to the church, don't throw in the towel. But keep on pushing. And then the text referred, watch this. Because I dissect the text, I be asking God, what does this mean? And, And what is this? And explain this to me. I don't just like to reach surface, but I like to go deep. I said, God, explain this, because this don't make no sense. I be talking to him just like that. And so the Bible said it refers now, it, 
It refers to the Israelites. Uh, Y'all see that? It refers to Canaan's rest, which God had promised the children of Israel. But before they got to the promise, they had to go through the wilderness. I'm coming. Somebody caught it over here. I said, oh, my, my, my. Because God will never discount the process. God will never eliminate the process. He will never bring them out of Egypt and place them into the promise. The wilderness was necessary. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel my help up in here. I said the wilderness was necessary. We're going to talk about it in a little bit. But watch this. The text gives us this intelligence. It says, because Israel rebelled against God. Y'all know what rebellion means? They rebel against the ordinance of God. (coughs) Watch this. He tells Moses in Genesis 3 verse 13. He said, uh, he said to Abraham, he said, Know of a surety that thy people shall be a stranger in a land that's not their own. And he said they will serve them. Watch text. And they shall afflict them for four hundred years. I got some Bible read over here. But then he gives a prophetic declaration, a prophetic prophecy, and a prophetic promise. He said, but I will bring them out. And not only are they just coming out, but he said they're coming out with great substance. In other words, they ain't coming out the way they went in. That tells me that when you're really afflicted, God adds some stuff to it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to come preaching in about 10 minutes. When you're really, come on, going through stuff for the sake of the kingdom. The Bible said the disciples celebrate when they had to be persecuted. Why? Because they know there's blessing attached. So he said, because of Israel disobedience and how they're living, how the church is living. Uh, y'all miss it. How the church is living. Coming to church on Sunday, but how they're living Monday through Saturday. He said, I'm going to judge them because of how they're living. The Bible said judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. You ain't fooling nobody. I'm sorry. I'm just that type of preacher. But he said, I'm coming to the house to judge. Oh, glory be to God. And so he says now in the text, I'm judging the church because of their rebellion. And here God makes a covenant. He says, hallelujah, they shall be in for 400 years. Then he said, I'm going to bring them out. The Bible said it came to pass just like he said. And it was now 430 years. And it had expired. The Bible said the Lord brought Egypt, hallelujah, Israel out of Egypt just like he said. Say just like he said. He said they took them out of Egypt by way of ten plagues. And this was significant because he was coming against the ten gods of Egypt. Read about it. And so he gave ten plagues for the ten gods. And the Bible said he brought them out by way of the Red Sea through the wilderness. Hallelujah. But in the wilderness, they were challenged. Somebody holler challenge. Anytime you're going to encounter God, there will be challenge. Anytime you're getting ready to go to the next level, there will be challenge. There will always be another devil of another level. When God gets ready to move you from levels to realms to dimension every level got a new devil and so you got to be careful what you pray for because anytime you elevate there is another thing that you have to fight there's another entity and so you're praying for God to use you honey prepare for warfare prepare for trouble because anytime God elevates trouble is associated 
we work a little bit more. So it's significant. He said, now, I ain't just going to give you the promise. I'm just not going to give you the rest. He said, I'm going to have to take you through the wilderness. Somebody holler, wilderness. wilderness. He took them through the wilderness to build their faith and to process them. Because if God ever just landed them in the promise, all they would do is eat day and night. Land flowing of milk and honey. All they'll do is wake up to fresh vegetation and go to bed to fresh vegetation. But God wanted to teach them a lesson that when they don't have food on the table that he is Jehovah Jireh. Oh God, when their body is afflicted, Jehovah Rapha, they would not have learned that in Canaan. Come on, because everything they needed was there, including rest. Oh, glory be to God, because the Bible said God told him, I'm going to take care of the enemy along the way. The only thing you got to do in this season is walk by faith and not by sight. Believe the promise, and you will see the reward. God said, I'm going to kill every enemy along the way. Why? Because the Lord recognized they weren't fighters. They weren't soldiers because they've been in bondage for 400 years. And God said, I got the enemy. All you got to do is walk. I got the enemy. All you got to do is move. I got the enemy. All you got to do is believe. But the Bible said, I'm almost there. They believe God for the exodus but didn't believe him for the promise. God help me. Say it again. I said to believe God for the exodus. But they didn't believe him oh, for the promise. Has God ever promised you anything? Salvation and conversion. But that's where you stop. You don't believe him for the promise. God done promise you have a prophetic declaration over your life. But you're stuck in salvation and conversion. You have no idea. All you got to do is activate your faith and believe what God said. I make you the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. If my people... Give me another minute, sit down, are you ready? You believe in for conversion. But Christian dumb is more than just salvation. What you do it after conversion? What you believing for? I said this this morning, I said, the church have lost their power now. We're counseling devils instead of casting them out. I ain't scared of none of y'all. I said we're counseling devils. Well, come in my office and have a seat. And if you do step one to know the devil is alive, lose it and let it go. In the name of Jesus, there's power. Ain't nobody using the blood. Ain't nobody using the name of the Lord. Do you know the blood of Jesus has power? It still wax warm from the cross of Calvary. Somebody holler the blood. Sit down for a minute. One more time, holler the blood. I can preach right there and go home. Holler the blood. Somebody holler the blood. Some of you need to put the blood on some stuff. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over your house. The blood of Jesus over your body. The blood of Jesus. Open up your mouth and holler the blood. Sit down. There's power in the blood. Let me give you this. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. I said somebody knows. You know how many times I applied the blood to my life and I watched it work. When the children of Israel were coming out of bondage, God said, go ahead and apply the blood on the doorpost and on the lintel. Watch this, and when the death angel come, it's going to pass over. I prophesy the season 
of Passover over your life. I prophesy every weapon, Passover sickness, Passover. Somebody had a Give you this. Sit down. Theologian says. Theologian says. Even the people in Egypt, some that heard the instruction of the Father. Did the very same thing. Yes. The and the dead angels pass over. So the principle is in the blood. Yes. Ah. I said the principle, and I'm losing my voice in the name of Jesus. Touch my voice. The principle is in the blood. He said, now I became the living I became the living sacrifice. No more bullocks. No more turtle doves. No more goats. But the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. the blood. The blood of the animal was so weak. That they had to do it every year. So weak that they had to repeat it every single year. The priest goes in and he has bells because if he ain't living right, he gonna fall dead. And so he goes in and he makes atonement for the people annually. But when they shift it from animal's blood to Jesus' blood, it only took one, one act on the cross called Calvary. Oh God, I wish I had the strength. Sit down. I wish I had the strength. Watch this. God said, and I'm almost there. He said, and what that was weak to do. Oh, the blood of Jesus did. Watch this. He said, I'm going to bring you to the promise. I'm going to bring you to Canaan, which it signifies your rest. Yeah. But you're going to have to go through some stuff. Yeah. Because how in the world are you going to counsel me if you ain't been through that? How are you going to tell me to live right if you? Still not living right. If you've been a saint since the day you're born. The Bible said you're a lie if you stay, you ain't never sin. How you gonna tell me not to be a whoremonger if you ain't never been one yourself? How you gonna tell me not to lie if you never lied yourself? And so our testimony is powerful. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words. So he said you're coming through, but you're coming through the wilderness. Somebody holler, the wilderness is necessary. Historically, it is in the wilderness that God reveals himself. Yeah. Promise you I'll be done in seven minutes. Some of y'all looking at me like she ain't done yet. I'm almost there. <laughs> Historically, in the wilderness, God reveals himself. He spoke to Abraham in the wilderness to establish a covenant. He spoke to Moses at a burning bush in the wilderness. He took Ezekiel to a valley in the wilderness and asked him, can these bones live? Elijah encountered God on Mount Horeb in the wilderness. Moses received the commandment in the wilderness on Mount Sinai. John the Baptist's ministry was not dead in the middle of the wilderness. And so when God says it's time for you to go through some stuff, you ought to be praising because everyone that God brought out of a wilderness, he brought them into a wealthy place. God will never bring you from bondage 
to the promise without the wilderness. And so while you're crying over a wilderness experience, tell your neighbor the wilderness has benefits. Wilderness is a place of separation, no distraction. My, my. You preaching. I said wilderness is a place of separation when there's no distraction. Sometimes your peace is by shutting everybody else off. Sometimes your rest is putting your phone on mute. Turning the TV off. Now, listen, I have two phones. My husband has four. And not every time we answer the call, we look and we say, no, not today. Or no, not this one. Because I already know, not through the spirit of discernment, but through historical act. I just know what they're going to say. Or I know what they're going to ask for. I know what they're going to do. So when I see the call, I said, wait a minute, I can't do this right now. Some of you need to touch your button and say, reject because I need peace. Have you ever been having a good day? Have you ever been having a good day and all of a sudden you get one call? It's true. It's true. One call that disturbed your entire one call through your entire day of one call. And so sometimes you've got to initiate your own rest. I ain't doing this today. I ain't doing this today. Your crisis ain't my problem. Not today. I lend you no money, not today. Because I ain't getting the last five I loaned back. Not today. I'm trying to help you get into a place of peace. Watch this. The wilderness has benefits. The wilderness is a place of separation, no distraction. Number two, the wilderness is a place of isolation for installation. Mm. It's the place where God puts back stuff together again. Because sometimes we become so thin by the people around us and the things that we encounter in this thing called life. And encountering the potholes on the way to destiny. We become tired and so he brings us into isolation for installation. Number three, the wilderness is a place of preparation. When God's get ready to prepare you, he doesn't do it in public, he does it in private. Yeah. Let me talk over here. I said when God gets ready to use you, yeah. he fixes you in the dark, not in the light. My God, you preaching. My mind. Because when you stand in the light, you are a representation of him. And so he covers your mess in the dark room before you even get to the light. Like a negative in the picture in the dark room. He watches you, hallelujah, as you unfold and as you come to, together and as you come to yourself. And then he exposes you to the light. Because there's some stuff in you right now that he can't illuminate. Lest you bring disgrace. I was broken in the dark. Couldn't hang with certain people, couldn't talk with certain people, couldn't do certain things. My hand couldn't touch certain things. My feet couldn't walk in certain places. And I said, God, why am I, why is it so rigorous for me? I was being broken in the dark. So God will prepare you in the dark. Number four, the wilderness is a place of revelation. Don't abandon the promise because of the process said, don't abandon the promise because of the process. I'm going to give you this and then I'm going to close. He rescues them from Egypt. But the Bible said, Egypt was still in them. They've been in bondage for so long that Egypt became a part of them. They were out of Egypt, but Egypt was still in them. Emotionally stuck. That's some of y'all's story. God brought you out, but you keep looking back. This woman's day, ain't it? God took you out of that relationship, but you keep going back. There's no benefits there. It's abusive, but you keep looking back. You keep going back. One call and you back, smack back. You done walked 10 steps away on one call and you took 20 back. Where the ladies at? Pretend the brothers ain't here. One call. 
Just one. Because he puts on that lovely masculine voice. Hey, baby, I miss you. I can't do it. Like, <laughs> whatever y'all say. And all of a sudden, you in the car driving to his house. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't look at me like. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you, you at the door. Beep, I'm downstairs. How did you get there? <laughs> you were just at your house. But one call. Smack dab you right back to that relationship. Some of y'all living in your now, but you're still processing a relationship from 2020. And that's what the devil will do. This is a whole nother session. I don't know how I got here. He'll play 2020, the relationship, and he'll play 2022, and he'll bring you back and catapult you right into the thing that you slept and said, I will never return to. It's a plan of the enemy to keep you stuck. And you don't realize it because, oh, he loves. No, he don't. You don't hurt who you love. Yeah. Once is a mistake, two is character, three times it's a habit, honey. Run. I'm going to save that for a woman's session. Tell your sister, run. One time it's a mistake. Y'all ain't ready. So they're stuck emotionally. Amen. It's a plan of the enemy to keep you tied to your past emotionally. I promise you I'm done. I got so much, but I'm done. So God said, watch this. I'm going to bring you to the place called rest. You're going to have to let go of some stuff. I have to walk away from some stuff. I hear you, sister. Delete some numbers. Y'all got some numbers in that phone for 10 years. What, what, what you doing with it? What, on a rainy day, you're just going to scroll, select, and, and dial? I'm trying to help somebody. I'm going to cut through all this. Watch this. The Bible said, while they were in the wilderness, they were so attached to Egypt that they kept seeing it and kept saying it. It said they remembered and they sat, when they sat around the pot of meat, and ate the bread that they wanted. This is the Israelite talking. He said, but now you've brought us into the wilderness to starve and to die. We remember the fish. Talking about the memory. He said, we remember the fish. I was about to say something, but I ain't home, so I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Lord, help me. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> My church know me. They know what I was going to say. I'm sorry said, which we did eat in Egypt, freely, freely, but you're in bondage. Make it make sense. Said, we remember the cucumbers, and we remember the melon, and we remember the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. They kept reminiscing on the past when God was trying to get them to a promise. I'm going to close this because I got so much, but I'm done. Stand to your feet all over this building. I pass Shabbat. We're getting ready to pray. Because there's a Canaan with your name on it. My, my. You hear me? My, my. And normally I'll be swinging right about here, but I don't have the voice to do it. There's a Canaan with your name on it. God has a promise with your name on it. A prophetic promise that he has designated just for you. A place that I can't even walk in because it has your name on it. But he said we're in a place called stuck. Amen. Because our gaze is not on him. But our gaze is on the things. So the Lord said, in this season, pursue me. Not things. Mm. So the Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all these other things. Everything you need will come. But we miss it. We're praying for cars and houses. Instead of seeking his presence. When you seek his presence, the car and the houses, they will come. Everything you need will come. We got to twist the seek ye first. My God, the kingdom of God. And everything else shall be added unto you. We're getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to pray.
If you don't want to grab your neighbor's hand, touch their shoulder. But I want everybody to be connected to somebody. Woo, shabande. Get it on the Tired! But I'm still in pursuit. Still going after God. Warfare and all, tired and all, I'm still seeking the face of God. The hand that you're holding. One shall shake a thousand, but two will put 10,000 to flight. There is something when we come together, and right now you should already be feeling something as you lay hold on your brother's hand and your sister. And when I come to three, we're going to go up and we're going to pray. And I want you to give us a sound, not a song. And I want you to play the Levites. And we're going to release our voice like a trumpet in this atmosphere. And we're praying, God, that God, that we will encounter everything with our name on it. And that you will bring us into our Canaan, the place of rest and the place of peace in the name of the Lord. And I will not miss anything in this season. And anything I miss in the past, God, you're giving me a second chance to get it back. And that which the enemy has stolen, you're giving it back sevenfold. Are you ready? One, two, three. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. Echo. Come on, open. I said, come on and open up your mouth. Come on. Pray from your belly. Pray from your soulish realm. Out of your belly, let it flow rivers of living water. Now, Father God, we're coming in the name of the Lord. Because it's not by might, no by power, but by the Spirit of living God. And God, we pray now in the name of the Lord that you will give us every promise, every prophetic promise that's been spoken in and of our life. We take authority in the name of the Lord. Open up your mind and pray. Open up your mind and pray. By the spirit of adoption, whereby we can cry, Abba, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day what belongs to us. Give us this day. Give us this day our destiny, our reward, our inheritance. In the name of the Lord, we seek your face. We go after God as a deer panting at the water brook. So pan my soul after the Lord. Come on and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Engage the spirit. And engage the spirit, engage the spirit, pray. A patio belly, a patio belly, another level, another pray, another place, another rim, another, another higher heights, deeper dead. Open up your mouth and pray. I said, pray. Come on, 60 more seconds. Pray for it, war for it, war for it, war for your peace, war for your joy, war, 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 war for it, in the name of Jesus, war, in the name of Jesus, yeah, war for it, war for it, open up your mouth, and war, where, I said where, and well, well for your destiny. Well, in another 30 more seconds. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Well for your destiny. Well for your reward. Well for your peace. I come against the spirit of depression in this room. I come against the spirit of anxiety. Against it now, in the name of the Lord, I cancel every diabolical assignment. I cancel the work of the enemy. I cancel every seed, every covenant that is not of God. I root it up. I root it up. I root it up. Come on and pray. I 
I read it up. Every demonic seed that has bud and brought fruit, I kill it at its root. I cancel its assignment in the earth realm. And I decree and declare that you will not be a fruit after today. Come on, 10 seconds, say something. And God, we decree and declare that yeah, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it's just a shadow. I said it's just a shadow. I said it's just a shadow. I said it's just a shadow. I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff. They have comforted me right here in the wilderness. Right here in the desert. I prophesy your peace is coming. Uh. I wasn't going to do this, but I hear the Lord. There's five of you that need prayer. If that's you, I want you to come. I want you to come and come quickly. Oh, that's one. Come quickly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's two. Come quickly. That's three, four. Come quickly. Hey, bye, Monday. Man of God, man of God, there is such an anointing on your life. Lift your hands. Oh, God, I thank you. And though you don't think you're qualified, I said to remind you of the call. Don't know you never seen it. Though you think you're not qualified, remind him of the call. Lift both hands because God is going to activate something in your life tonight. Stay there. Your eyes have not seen, neither has it entered into. Oh, my shatai. I feel it. Fire! Shut up! It's already on you. Oh, shut up! Oh, it's on you. Sorry. Oh my God! Somebody give God praise. There's a fire in your belly. Fire in your belly. Fire in your belly. I loose it now. I loose, loose, loose the. God calls you His prophet. Don't care what nobody tells you, hear me. Because I hear a lot of whisper in your ear. God, have your way. We give you glory. I hear whisper in your ear. God said, yeah, it is I that speaks to you. He calls you prophet and sometimes you shun the things that you hear because you think it's you. God said, no, remind him, no, that ain't you. That's the spirit of God in you. Come on, somebody give him praise. Oh, my Shataya. Somebody give him praise. Come on, open up your mouth. I'm going to do this quickly. Come on, give him praise. Lift your hands, woman of God. I see God comforted you. I see God comforted in you. Oh, no, 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 no. Stand with her. God has comforted you from the crown of your head. Oh, ta ta. Fire. Shataya. Come on, give him praise. Open up your mouth. That's it. Oh, da, 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 da. God said, I'm comforted. God says, I'm comforted from the crown of your head. Stuff that you didn't even think you can endure and deal with. God says, I'm comforted. Oh, my shame. Oh, my name. Come on, open up, open, open. Hey. Hey. He told God is touching you, mother. The fire of God. Oh, Shataya. Oh, my, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! Shut 
call fire. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Fire. Fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. fire. Somebody holler fire. Somebody holler fire. Somebody holler fire. Somebody lift your hands. Fire, fire. Somebody holler fire. Oh, fire. Fire. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. God is giving you strength. God is giving you power. Hey. Fire. Come on, holler fire. Come on, holler fire. Come on, holler fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, my. How? God is strengthening you. God is. Come on, open up your mouth. God is strengthening you. I see a tormenting spirit. I see something trying to torment you. Lift your hands. Don't let people get to you here. Don't let people get to you here or here. Don't let them invade this space in this place. I see a torment. Stretch for your hand. Tonight by way of the Holy Ghost. Ooh, my dad, dad. Every tormenting spirit that comes in your mind. And give you restless. Make you restless. I come against it. Come on. Open up your mind. And I break it now. I plead the loose here. I plead the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody holler loose. Loose it. Holler loose. I said holler loose. Come quickly. Come on. It's not by might nor my power. Come quickly. But by the spirit of the living God. Loose it. Lift your hands, mother. I pray for a fresh anointing. A fresh outpour of his spirit. From the crown of your head. To the very soul of your feet. Hell fire. Shake I said fire. Lift. Pray a warrior. I said, pray a warrior. I said, pray a pray a pray a warrior. Pray a warrior. Go higher. Go higher. Go higher. I started hope. Throw it up. Somebody holler fire. Somebody holler fire. Come on three times. Fire. 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 God says, I trust you as an intercessor. I don't know you. An intercessor can take the problems of somebody else and bring it to the Father without discussing it to another. God said, you are a trusted vessel. Ooh, uh, no, no, no. I trust that people can trust you with secrets and, and they come to you and they trust you. But God said because of your posture in prayer, you have been praying for everybody else. But God said welcome into the season oh, bah, 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 for yourself. Because I prophesy this next season is for you. And while you are praying for others, God said, I'm getting ready to see about you. Oh, oh. I'm getting ready to see about you. I'm moving. Clap your hands all over. Amen.
On your way back to your seat, hug on somebody, love on somebody. Come on, praise him. Worship him for 30 seconds. We have praise. Come on, now worship. Thank him for the things that's getting ready to happen. Oh, the man of God right here. Yeah, you. God's going to start using you in the States here. People are going to call you to come back here. I don't know what you do at the church there, but I see God ushering you to bring you here. And when I say here, I don't mean necessarily this church. I mean here in this area, the United States, he's bringing you here to do ministry, not ministry of your own, but to minister and to return. Hear the prophet, because there is something in you that must be unlocked. You've been in the church, but you still have levels that need to be unlocked. And while you are oh, operating in one level, God said there are seven comp several components that I must unlock. And God said this is a season where I'm going to unlock levels after levels, dimension after dimension, and you will flow in a way like never before. The hand of God. While you have watched others go forth, get ready. If I be a prophet, somebody say, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Faithful are you. You're faithful to the house in which you serve. I don't know you just by way of the spirit. You're faithful to the church. They can count on you anything. You're right there. But God says, I'm bringing you to travel and I'm going to use you here yeah. and so I see you going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth on, you ain't seen nothing yet point your hands God I unlocked every level associated with his calling every dimension that's been locked up in the name of the Lord and God I pray now that this will be the season of release and out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water not river but rivers plural it will flow at the flow at the flow at the flow in the name of the Lord I pray God that as it flow he will spew out of his mouth the rivers that's in his belly in the name of the Lord I don't have a voice I'm done that's the word of the Lord and it is so and it shall be no otherwise. Amen. All right. Somebody say, it is so. It is so. And it shall be no otherwise. I'm on my way to my seat, but this is what I want you to do. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I want you to grab a $40 seed. The number 40 is significant. We preached about the wilderness. Thank you, team. We preached about the wilderness. 40 is a number of testing and going through. 40 years in the wilderness. I want you to grab a 40C. And I want you to come, everybody, under the sound of my voice, that's able to give that seed, I want you to give it. Amen. I want you to sow it into this word as God bring you out of a place called bondage into process into your Canaan. I want you to see it on today. And if you don't have 40, I want you to get as close as you can. And I want you to get ready to come. Woo! Everybody. Thank you, sir. No form, no fashion. A thousandfold return as you come. Father, we thank you. A thousandfold return. And I prophesy as you give this $40 seed that in 40 days you'll see the hand of God extended. Thank you. The hand of God extended in and over your life. God is shifting it and he's turning it around in 40 days. I prophesy and I speak in 4-0. 
40 days. My husband and I were debt free and we're blessed. You want to know the secret? When we couldn't see our way out, we seeded our way out. We gave when we didn't even have it to give. And today now it's not a problem to give, but there was a day where we couldn't sow that seed. But we seed our, seeded our way out when we couldn't see our way out. God has blessed us a thousandfold increase, a thousandfold increase, not in many days hence. I decree and declare that your wells will never run dry, never perpetual flow, perpetual overflow, perpetual release, perpetual increase is your portion, be it so. In the name of the Lord, they're coming. A thousandfold increase upon your life. Whatever you have, don't leave without sowing. I don't care if it's a dollar. Sow something on tonight in this word. Sow something. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As they're giving God, give back onto them, press down, shaking together measures. Open windows in heaven and pour out a blessing that they have never seen. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and return nothing. And those that are watching via stream, you can give on bank. See, I don't even know that. I don't. I only have Cash App, but Vanco. And how do we do that? Oh, it's it's there. It's pinned on the stream. Amen. Partake in this. If this word has blessed you, if you have received, I prophesy to even those that are watching. Forty days. Watch God. I want you to see it. I want you to give a seat on tonight, in this house on tonight. A thousandfold increase is your portion. Yes, Lord. I come to the garden. the sound.
pursue him we will find rest hallelujah we thank God for the word tonight come on we thank God for the word tonight and we honor the Lord for his soul his chosen vessel we praise God for her today and may the Lord bless your ministry, prophetess Owens. May the Lord increase everything that pertain it to thee. God will perfect in Jesus' name. There's a peace in the room. Hallelujah. None other. Come on, come on, speak to yourself one more time. And he wants to know. He walks with me and he, and he talks. talks. Ever. 
much between me and you. While we are absent one from the other. Come on, Holy Ghost filled people. Come on, Holy Ghost filled people. Just let him lead you. Come on, just let him lead you. And he walks with me. Oh, and he walks with me. And he talks with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 